Hey guys, it is Bree from Bree Anita, and today I wanted to show you the progress of my Arrow Garden Sprout. Um, I have this Arrow Garden Sprout. It is a three pod hydroponic garden, and I've been growing lettuce and basil. And right now, the light is flashing, so it's time to add plant food. And I'm going to add some fresh water in there and I'm going to show you how I do that and I just want to share that you know this even though this arrow garden sprout is small it definitely packs a punch um, because this lettuce is so ready to be harvested and I didn't think that it was going to grow so well in this one um, I already posted a video of my arrow garden harvest um, I think that's what it's called, or the Arrow Garden Elite, um, and I will link it um, at the top so you can watch that one, but I'm going to show you how I change, put new water in, add plant food, and then reset the flashing light that is up here. Okay, so this is the front of the Arrow Garden. Right here is the water level gauge. Hopefully you can see that. Right now you can see a lot of roots in there. And up underneath, which I got to trim this back a lot. Up under here is the reservoir for the water. So right there you can see that's what the inside of it looks like. And it says filled to here. And that's where you're going to put the plant food. And that is the little window so you can see inside you can see a lot of roots but this lettuce plant needs to be cut back a lot so I'm gonna add some water and then I'm going to take this arrow garden liquid plant food um, you only need one um, lid full, one cap full a week. So I am, it gets kind of messy. So you gotta watch out for that. But I'm going to pour that in here. Okay. As you can see. Then I'm going to pour it right on down in here. Okay, I'm going to go on and take off these leaves right here. Uh, my little cutting shears are downstairs, so I just had to pinch them off. And then I want to pour a little bit more water to fill it to the fill line. Oops. All right. And then I want to place this right back on top. And that is it. I do want to show you um, the type of lettuce that I am growing. It is this Fairy Morris organic lettuce, salad bowl lettuce. It's good for container gardens. Um, that grew very, very fast in this hydroponic. And then I'm also growing a basil that came from this Arrow Garden Sea Pot Kit, the Gourmet Herbs. Um, and it is Genovese basil. I tried to go grow dill from here and it didn't grow, but the, um, the basil did good. And then I was in the middle, which I'll try to show you that. I had one of these, um, I think it's, yeah, it's one of these Mighty Tomatoes. And it did not, it did not germinate at all. 
So um, after I get done with the lettuce, I will probably try it again, or I will just plant um, maybe a tea herb in it. But yes, this one for me did not germinate, but I still got more, so it could just been that one. And then the last one that I wanna show you is um, if you wanna grow your own um, seeds, you're gonna have to get a grow anything kit. And that's what it looks like here. It is an arrow garden seed pot kit, grow anything, add your own seeds. It's fun and versatile. And I'm almost out of everything in here, but it comes with nine pods. And it says it right here on the side, if you can see, comes with nine grow baskets and labels, nine grow sponges, nine grow domes, plant food, and a quick start guide. It's kind of messy, but these are the um, baskets that you need to sit inside of your pod, inside of here. And then inside of there, inside of the basket, you'll put this grow sponge. And then there's a hole at the top where you will put your seeds inside of that hole. And then while your plants are germinating, it comes with these domes and you will just sit it on top until your um, plants start to grow and then you'll take it off and it will be flourishing. So I absolutely love this arrow garden. It is my absolute favorite. Um, and now that it's winter time, I like to have fresh, um, fresh lettuce, you know. Uh, I try to grow as much as I can, as much as I can. Okay. So I'm gonna turn this to the side a little bit. And if you can see just really how big this lettuce really is. And then the basil is so huge. It grew past the light, if you can see. I know it's hard to see the light is here, but I had to push the basil to the side so that it, so that it could keep growing, see? So this is another view of the Arrow Garden Sprout. It does have an adjustable light there, and that is at its max height. And as you can see, I had to push the basil out because it was starting to burn the leaves because the leaves were touching that light. So I'm going to dehydrate a lot of these leaves to make my own spice. And I am going to cut this lettuce and, and eat it today. So that's all i wanted to share with you guys i just wanted to show that even the smallest air garden really packs a punch and you can grow a good amount of stuff in it um i'll definitely link it below so you could so you guys can check it out and also check out the other air garden video that i did um and i will i will link that as well i will see you in the next one don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye